In this video introduction, we transport ourselves back to the year 2012 during the havoc wreaking Superstorm Sandy in New York City. The aftermath reveals the city's vulnerability to extreme weather and rising sea levels. Prompted by this wake-up call, NYC has initiated a groundbreaking project, the construction of seawall defenses, to protect against future storms. Before we delve into the details, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Now, join us as we explore the conception, implementation, and transformative impact of these seawall projects, designed to fortify the city's resilience against climate change and storm surges. Let's uncover how these initiatives promise to redefine New York City's relationship with the sea. When major storms like Superstorm Sandy hit New York City, they exposed vulnerabilities in its infrastructure, highlighting an urgent need for improved protection against future storms and rising sea levels. As a response to this wake-up call, the East Coast Resiliency Project, or ESCR, was initiated. The ESCR is an ambitious $1.45 billion project that aims to construct a comprehensive system of walls and floodgates along Lower Manhattan's shoreline. These barriers are designed to provide robust protection for vulnerable areas of the city. Imagine towering walls reaching up to 16.5 feet high, formidable shields against water seepage during future storm surges. The magnitude of these barriers paints a vivid picture of their ability to safeguard Manhattan from potential devastation. However, it doesn't stop there. The ESCR goes beyond simply building walls. It encompasses a holistic approach towards resilience by considering various elements of urban planning and environmental sustainability. By investing in this project, New York City demonstrates its commitment to protecting its citizens and infrastructure from climate-related risks. The construction of these walls and floodgates will not only enhance the city's resilience, but also serve as a testament to its determination in addressing climate change impacts head-on. In recent years, New York City has faced powerful storms, but none have left such a lasting impact as Hurricane Ida. This devastating storm wreaked havoc on the city, causing unprecedented flooding and leaving behind indelible signs of destruction. As floodwaters surged through streets and subway tunnels during Hurricane Ida, it became clear that urgent action was needed to protect the city from future storms and rising sea levels. The aftermath served as a stark reminder of just how vulnerable NYC truly is. The destructive force of Hurricane Ida has expedited construction processes and added an undeniable sense of urgency to completing these vital seawall projects. The need for enhanced infrastructure cannot be overstated. It's crucial in ensuring the safety and resilience of New York City against similar catastrophic events in the future. By fortifying vulnerable areas with robust seawalls, we can minimize the impact of storm surges and safeguard our communities. The heightened urgency following Hurricane Ida serves as a call to action for everyone involved in these projects city officials, residents, engineers, and contractors alike. With every passing day, progress is being made towards completing these essential seawall projects. The devastation caused by Hurricane Ida has fueled determination among all stakeholders to prioritize their completion promptly. New York City understands that time is not on our side when it comes to climate change-related threats. We must act swiftly and decisively to ensure our collective safety and preserve our beloved city for generations to come. In the ambitious project to construct seawalls along Lower Manhattan's shoreline, key locations have been identified where all construction is currently underway or planned. These locations include areas such as West Village and East Harlem, which are highly vulnerable to storm surges. To emphasize the scale and magnitude of these protective barriers, it's essential to mention notable statistics. The walls will reach a height of up to 16.5 feet, providing substantial protection against rising sea levels and future storm surges. Furthermore, they will stretch for approximately six miles along the Hudson River, ensuring comprehensive coverage. Visual cues and imagery play a crucial role in highlighting specific areas within Lower Manhattan that are prone to flooding. By integrating these visual aids into the planning process, engineers can accurately identify vulnerable spots and address them effectively. 
When it comes to protecting New York City from the devastating effects of storm surges and rising sea levels, seawalls are just one piece of the puzzle. The city's ambitious approach to resilience involves a comprehensive, multi-layered strategy that goes beyond walls alone. In addition to constructing robust seawalls along vulnerable areas, these projects incorporate various features aimed at enhancing protection and promoting environmental sustainability. One such feature is the incorporation of hilly park areas into the design. These elevated terrains not only serve as an additional protective barrier against flooding, but also provide recreational spaces for public use. Imagine strolling through lush green parks nestled amidst the bustling waterfront, offering both safety and serenity. But it doesn't stop there. The vision for New York City's resilient future includes amenities that will make the waterfront more accessible and enjoyable for residents. Picture docks stretching out over calm waters, inviting you to embark on a leisurely boat ride or simply soak in picturesque views. Bike lanes weave seamlessly along the shoreline, encouraging sustainable transportation options while providing opportunities for exercise and recreation. Benches dotting the landscape offer spaces for relaxation and contemplation, allowing visitors to bask in nature's beauty. As part of the seawall projects in New York City, significant improvements are being made to the underground drainage systems and power substations. These enhancements play a crucial role in ensuring better evacuation capabilities during extreme weather events while minimizing power loss throughout the city. The underground drainage systems are being upgraded to handle larger volumes of water that may occur during storm surges or heavy rainfall. By improving their capacity and efficiency, these systems will help prevent flooding in low-lying areas and reduce the risk of damage to critical infrastructure. Additionally, the power substations are being fortified to withstand potential impacts from storms or rising sea levels. This includes elevating equipment above flood levels and implementing protective measures, such as watertight enclosures. These enhancements will not only minimize power outages during extreme weather events, but also ensure a smoother response for emergency services and residents who rely on electricity for essential needs. By investing in these underground infrastructure enhancements, New York City is taking proactive steps towards building a more resilient coastal community. The improved drainage systems and fortified power substations will not only enhance safety and preparedness, but also contribute to faster recovery after severe weather events. As New York City takes proactive measures to protect against the growing threat of rising sea levels, the importance of adapting to future challenges becomes increasingly clear. While current measures are essential in safeguarding vulnerable areas, it's crucial to acknowledge that projected sea level rise poses ongoing challenges. In response to these challenges, NYC has developed a comprehensive strategy centered around adaptability. The city's constructions are designed with the potential for elevation, allowing them to respond effectively to future climate risks. This forward-thinking approach ensures that as sea levels continue to rise, New York City will be equipped with infrastructure capable of withstanding and mitigating the impacts of extreme weather events. As with any major infrastructure project, the proposed seawall projects in New York City have faced concerns and challenges from citizens and local associations. One of the main worries raised is the potential for delays caused by appeals against these projects. It's important to address these concerns and provide reassurance to viewers that despite these challenges, progress is being made towards a timely completion. The city has set a target completion date for 2026, demonstrating its determination to take swift action in protecting vulnerable areas from future storm surges. While it's understandable that there may be differing opinions and legal processes involved, it's crucial to prioritize the safety of New York City residents. By adhering to established timelines and resolving any appeals efficiently, the city can ensure that construction progresses without unnecessary setbacks. The public reception to these seawall projects has been mixed, as with any large-scale undertaking. However, it's important to emphasize that the overall goal of safeguarding against future storms and rising sea levels remains paramount. Recognizing this imperative, 
City officials are committed to addressing public concerns while staying focused on completing this vital protective measure. New York City's East Coast Resiliency Project, or ESCR, is not just a standalone initiative. It's an essential component of a comprehensive plan aimed at enhancing climate resilience throughout the city. With an overall budget of $20 billion, this ambitious investment demonstrates New York's commitment to combating the continuous impact of climate change. The ESCR represents more than just a one-time solution. It serves as a testament to the recognition that climate change is an ongoing challenge that requires long-term dedication and proactive measures. By investing in resilient infrastructure like seawalls, New York City aims to fortify its vulnerable areas against future storms and rising sea levels. Significantly, recent funding approval from the U.S. Congress has allocated substantial financial resources towards climate resilience initiatives, including NYC's seawall projects. This support underscores the importance placed on protecting coastal cities from environmental threats and ensuring their sustainability in the face of changing climates. As part of a larger endeavor, New York City's commitment to climate resilience extends beyond seawalls alone. The allocation of funds for other critical initiatives, such as improving drainage systems and power substations, further extends NYC's ability to withstand extreme weather events effectively. The video explores New York City's response to the devastating impact of Superstorm Sandy in 2012. It emphasizes the city's urgent need for improved infrastructure to protect against future storms and rising sea levels. New York City is taking a proactive and ambitious approach by implementing comprehensive seawall projects, such as the East Coast Resiliency Project, ESCR, featuring massive walls and floodgates. The ESCR not only focuses on conventional proactive measures, but also integrates hilly park areas for public use. The city's commitment to sustainability is evident through the planting of approximately 1,800 trees, promoting biodiversity and mitigating carbon emissions. The video encourages viewers to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to stay informed about such insightful content.